This is Pat Shand in New Orleans. I'm here for Zenoscope VIP New Orleans. And I just want to say, I'm recording this while I'm a bit inebriated. And I just realized that I've been writing for Zenoscope for 12 years. With Zenoscope, I've been editor. I've been a staff writer. I've been freelance. For a short time, I I wasn't writing for them. I, I, I took a short break. And short... It's crazy. Short, a short break was four years, but in the context of how long I've known Zenoscope and how long I've worked for Zenoscope, it seems, it seems very short. I've worked on countless books with Ralph, Joe, Raven, and I am now here with them in New Orleans. I'm, I'm here because of them in New Orleans. I do my thing with Space Between. I take immense inspiration from Zenoscope, but I just... I want to let it be known that I am here because of Joe Brusha and Ralph Tedesco. I am where I am in my career because of Ralph Tedesco and Joe Brusha. I, you know, I feel like it's cool to feel self-made. It's cool to take, take pride in all the choices that I've made, all the Kickstarter things that I've done. But the, the truth is, 12 years ago, I emailed Ralph Tedesco and he gave me a chance when I had one credit to my name, a two-page Angel comic. Two pages. And he gave me a chance. He let me write A Thousand Ways to Die, talk about writing Charmed, which ended up being a 20-issue run, Grim Fairy Tales, which was a one-shot, then another one-shot, another, and then Staff Writer for years. I am here because of Ralph Tedesco and Joe Brusher, and I am filled with gratitude because of that. I never could have imagined, though, that when I emailed Ralph, I would find a lifelong family in Zenoscope. I'm in awe of what Zenoscope has done. So much of what my company does is inspired by what Joe and Ralph do. I feel so much gratitude toward Ralph and Joe and the entire Zenoscope team. For me, it is Zenoscope for life. I can't wait for this second one. Would you look at this, dude? Just give them out to people. Is that right? Yeah, whatever you want to do. The foil, too, huh? The foil is gorgeous. Wow. wow. Very cool to see. Good. Let's get this signed up. I like that. Robin and Cindy don't like each other. I would think Paris. Carrie's would love Cindy. She's bringing her victims. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but Carrie's in for. But she would punish Cindy, too. Yeah, See, yeah, yeah. It's like, but Carrie doesn't really, like, go out just random. Kill. It, it's purpose for the Yeah, kill. like she's. She, Unlike they Cindy, who's just desserts. <laughs> you stole she's my She's a serial killer. killer. Yeah, because yeah. Car Carrie's and Robin are allies now, too. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, so she's I like that. I think it sounds good. I think it sounds pretty good. Um, all right, so I don't even know where to go from there. That's uh, uh, next story. <laughs> Let's go. Dave, you're a frog. No, it's good to make an announcement after this. You get a metal card set right now, or two packs of the trading cards, or you can keep going. Alright, please eliminate one more. No. It's, it's, it's helping like, me. It's like, it's like, so where's, far? Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Pick one. Uh, yeah, or you can... Um, or I could. Or you could Stop. take... Keep the squid. You could get an LE200 or higher, or two packs of cards and a metal card pack. Metal card pack. I'm going to keep going. Is okay. Okay.
Number two. Playing my joke. Tip Noah, he's working hard for you. Everyone. Tip your bartenders. All right. How dare you mock the shirts I wear and you wear that shit. Kiss my ass. Five for $20 for 20 for My shit's stripped out, Raven. It's ripped out. You not liking it, you slob, it's a compliment.